on my understanding, have a broader membership uh, will make a stronger voice on the profession. And we, we are going to have a presence on the market that is relevant and understood as a real critical mass, you know? We do have a relationship in our industry with manufacturers, with representatives that that it, it, it moves, If I feel it moves a little smoother than other places of the, um, of the country, not even mentioned outside of the country. And then when you go outside the country, we have a bunch of talented people that works in a completely different format. And they're very talented. I know it because I feel I was a talented designer living in South America for 10 years. <laughs> and at the time, I couldn't be a member of the ILG. But I was just designing in my heart. So then I, I you know it's and I'm I'm really looking forward to get together with a group of people with a completely different range of understanding of the industry and discuss it openly. So what are your concerns? You know, and what are my concerns? Why I'm not so concerned, and you should be concerned. So the how's gonna affect me, then maybe it's gonna affect you drastically. You know, there's all these things. Uh we need to do right. We cannot rush this up much because a lot of things should be figured out before this is implemented. I think that the idea of inclusion and in, uh, with the ILD of I, I, I call it broadening our our hug reach. Uh, I think it's an important part uh, to having an organization have a voice and have strength, especially in the broader industry than the design and architecture industry. Uh, with more individuals and more people, it can be a louder organization and have more power. And I think that we all struggle, wh whether you're an architect or a lighting designer, you struggle to have uh, a voice or have um, visibility in the industry. And so I think that the ILD has always been there to give voice and give visibility to lighting designers. And they'll have a better chance of doing that with a broader membership uh, and, and a larger membership. Yes, I think, and we've said this for a long time, even with our public policy uh, initiatives, the more voice we have, the more participants we have, the more understanding we have about the profession, the um, more we're recognized. Um, I think AIA is a good example of that. They have the numbers, you know, significant numbers. They are, have a reputation and they have, you know, a uh, perception by owners that they are the best. Um, that's what IELD needs to be working towards. And you can only do that if you have growth in, you know, at least in the professional side. Um, so I'm talking about professional membership and the design side as well. Members can come from anywhere. Yeah. I mean, I think any time that you're creating a larger pool of people and interest, there's a more opportunity for kind of cross population and, and collaboration. Um, even if it's not the person that was originally included, like they might know somebody or have a conversation. So anytime you're growing your base pool of, of members, I think that you're creating the opportunity for more connections, both within that pool and also tangential to it. Um, and you might tap into somebody that had, you know, no idea what this field was all about. And as a result, you know, could become a leader in the next 15 years um, and could be a spokesperson for that. There's so many different approaches and backgrounds that come to the table when, uh, when you talk about lighting design. What is important to me is not so much any of that, but that the outcome is one that serves humanity in a really positive, high quality way. That's where I think, you know, again, that's where we provide a home for all of those individuals to find their way to be able to do that in the best possible way they can. And part of that is being able, again, to yell from the rooftops about how important it is to have a quality lighting, lighted environment so that the people who are hiring us value it, value what we bring to the table. So, you know, it's, 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 it's twofold. Like I said, it's 
it's creating the home for people to grow within and it's giving them the voice to do the thing that we ultimately want to be doing. I'm seeing a number of our clients who uh, are coming to us with uh, ideas already around how lighting are working and, and should work. And those individuals um, consider themselves designers with light and want to work with des- working with lighting designers. And so all, we already see, I'm already seeing a lot of uh, kind of crossover from the client base into what I would consider to be, you know, uh, um, our lighting design base and being able to allow a membership structure to be able to respond to um, a tangential group of individuals um, from allied industries to be able to participate, um, I think really kind of strengthens kind of cross-disciplinary uh, engagement with um, the the different members at different structure at the different points in the structure, but in in letting that extend out to um, all of our collaborators, as well as other um, disciplines that might have a engagement with the technology, with the design, with the conceptualization that we may may be responsible for as the practitioner, but want to make sure that we have uh, engagement with members of the IALD that may be supporting us. I'm thinking electrical engineers, for instance, um, where they can, where all of a sudden there's a, an acknowledgement that I'm dealing with someone who is engaged with lighting, who and wants to be um, supportive of everything that um, the uh, the organization has to offer. Uh, but definitely, yes, um, that will increase not only the possible um, amount of, of memberships, that will uh, even enrich um, our designs because we will reach out for a uh, real multidisciplinary um, exchange of thoughts and multidisciplinary exchange as we always dream of somehow. Probably I did. <laughs> no, but um, you know, I, I think this is a is a is a crucial potential um for all of us um to get inspired and to develop further designs. To give you an example, once I remember one uh, paper we had some years ago from someone from Disney um, at an ILD conference and uh, explaining us the light and color scheme of uh, Kung Fu Panda and uh, all the thoughts that are behind these motion picture designs are extremely uh, inspiring and um, and giving an, an an input for own creative work. <laughs> Anytime you try and make the circle tighter, you know, is is an opportunity for for an organization. I think to just stifle itself and, and peter out. And I think as as an organization, the ILD wants to be you know, inclusive and widening the circle, not closing the circle. The stronger we can be, the more we can do. The more we can do across from, you know, the most, you know, newest member to the most experienced member, uh, that value proposition tangibly will go up. <laughs>